What's up guys? So Jay here. What we have today is the Canon GH5 with a Metabone Speed Booster Ultra 0.71X and a Canon EFS 24mm. Now at first, I when I first got this, the EFS lens wouldn't actually fit in my Speed Booster. I did not know that the Speed Boosters are not really compatible with the EFS lenses. That was really stupid of me. So, because back then I used to use the Tokina and I thought that was an EFS lens and that worked. So I was assuming that it would work. Well, it didn't. So I had to actually mod and hack this Canon EFS 24 millimeter pancake lens to fit in a speed booster. Anyway, the reason why I got this lens is because I wanted to try out the Zion Crane stabilizer to see if I can make it work with this setup. Because as you can see, this is a pretty kick-ass setup. It's really small. So let's go ahead and see if we can balance this setup with a Zion Crane, which we should be able to. This is my um, second pistol grip stabilizer. So we'll see if I can balance this correctly without looking anything up or stuff like that. So what we'll do is we'll take out my Manfrotto QR plate. What the hell? Did I just do that backwards? Oh my god. So, I had to get some uh, tripod leg thingies so I can actually stand this gimbal. And uh, I just moved the GoPro camera up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So here we go. We have the uh, camera on the actual gimbal. Try flip it over. Where's the front of this thing? What the hell? Okay, it flipped over. There you go. Okay. So here we are. First thing we're gonna do is balance this motor here, this axis, the tilt motors. So I'm gonna put it on, actually, I'm gonna put it on its back like this. Let's see what happens. I'm just gonna hold this. As you can see, it's falling back. So what we're gonna do Let's loosen this screw. Move it the opposite direction. Better. There you go. It's not moving anymore. Perfect, right? So close that out. All right. Next thing we're gonna do is it's uh. I'm gonna hold this back here. I think this is the roll axis. I'm not sure, but the left and right motion like this. So we're gonna put it in the middle. It's moving to the right. You can see that it's going this way. My right, your left. So I'm gonna loosen this back here and just move it to the left. Okay, see what happens then? Oh, did it too much. Loosen it again, go the opposite way. Okay, looks like it's good. It's still moving. It's kind of weird because it's moving down. That's fine, right? It's fine. That's fine. But whenever I put it this way, it's moving down. So that means it's front heavy. And what we'll do is just move the QR plate front and back. Here we go it too much. Screw the bottom, move the camera, front and back, small increments. Here we go. Good. 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 Holy crap. That was fast. Awesome. Okay. It's tilting left a little bit. So what I'm going to do is loosen the back, loosen the back motor. It's a lightweight. So it's a lightweight setup, so that's probably why it's really easy to balance. That's really lightweight. Did it too much again. Micro adjustments. 
There you go. Too much. Move it left. Surprise, I'm really surprised on how easy it is to balance this thing. Did it. I did it too much on the other side. Being a noob here, guys. Sorry. Here we go. Too much. Gosh. Micro, micro adjustment. Small adjustments. There you go. Perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out real quick. Let's do the front. I'm going to hold this motor here. Good. Let's do a back. Good. Front. Good. The last thing we're going to do is the yaw axis. I mean, I know that's kind of tilting a little bit more. And the thing I didn't do, the screen. Obviously, you want that flipped out, right? So I can have it like this. Or I could have it just fold it back like this, which shouldn't really shift the weight that much. Yeah, that didn't really shift it that much. It's pretty good. So to do the yaw axis, we're just gonna move the gimbal this way. And as you can see, it's moving to the right. Okay, so we're gonna hold it like that and then just slightly move it, moving to the right. So what we're gonna do this, this knob right here, we're gonna move it front and back. See what we'll, let's see what that does. Okay, here we go. It's turning. Okay, maybe that's not the front. That's supposed to be. This is the front. Okay, got it, Roger. Because the buttons are here, so that makes sense. Okay, it's still turning right. So, keep moving forward. Okay. Here we go. Uh, so I'm, I'm actually making it worst. So what I actually have to do is back off. There we go. Yo axis. Slightly getting better, but I'm running out of space here. I'm running out of space here. Okay, here we go. Moving right. Perfect. See it's not moving anymore? So. Move it left. It's tilting down a little bit, but that's okay. That's not the yo axis. So we'll just recheck our axes. Axes, is that even a freaking word? Here we go. Front. Okay. Back. So basically, every single position we put this thing, it should stay level. And there you go. It's a balance. Panasonic GH5, Metabone Speed Booster 7.1, Canon EFS 24 something. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We got a balance Zion Crane GH5, Metabone Speed Booster 7.1, and a Canon EFS 24 millimeters. Like I said though, that Canon lens, I had to mod it. It wouldn't work directly with a speed booster right off the bat because it is an EF lens. It's not going to fit, but there is a mod for it. If you want to learn how to do that, let me know. But that looks pretty darn good. So what we're going to do now is actually download the app and see what the app's all about, right?